So, Johan, we hear a lot of personal branding, so, so, uh, show yourself who you are on social platform, especially on LinkedIn for job seekers. But for newcomers, immigrants, or even new people using LinkedIn, that phrase might be a foreign language for them. How can I show that? What's my personal brand? And I know that you're an expert in this field. Can you elaborate us how they can start and how they can grow? Absolutely. So you're right. Personal branding and especially use of personal branding for job search mm -hmm. is still a relatively new concept. And a lot of people don't understand it or, or they have a lot of misconceptions around it. So before we I get into you know specific strategies on personal branding, let me tell you in very simple words what personal brand is. For me, a personal brand is essentially three things. Number one, it is all about who you are. Mm -hmm. Number two, it is all about how you are perceived by others, which is essentially your reputation. Mm -hmm. And number three, it's all about your promise or your offering, which is your unique value proposition. So let me break this down a little bit more. <clears throat> so number one, who you are. So this is being very, very self-aware and, and writing down uh, things like your strengths, mm -hmm. your skills, your interests, your passion, your values, which is essentially things you care about most, that's most important to you, and, and all encompassed within your personality, right? So this is all about who you are and how you show up. The number two component is how you are perceived. So this is the reputation that you have. So what do people think and say? when they talk about you, when you're not present in the room, mm -hmm. how does your presence make them feel, right? So yes. in this in this step, you want to, first of all, identify who is your target audience. Mm -hmm. You want to be uh, clear on what is their wants, what are their needs. And then you want to think about how you're going to address that in a way that is authentic as well as unique to you. Mm -hmm. The third component, Meher, is your unique value proposition okay. so this is essentially your unique differentiator and what sets you apart from your competition yeah. right uh, so this is not just about being different from other people or finding a niche for yourself but it's about being unique in a way that really resonates and that really matters to your target audience right yes. um, and i would say that it should really help you answer the question um that, you know, why should other people engage with me over mm -hmm. countless other options? So if you are a job seeker, why should a recruiter um, reach out to me? Why should a hiring manager approach me? If you are an entrepreneur, um, you know, why should other people do business with you compared to the hundreds of other options out there? So this is really where you have to hone in and be very clear on your unique value proposition. <clears throat> now, you mentioned LinkedIn. And LinkedIn is such an amazing platform to build your personal brand for newcomers to Canada, for job seekers, and also for people looking to set up their own business. Yes. Um, I have a five-step formula on how you can really use LinkedIn to build and to elevate your personal brand. Step number one is, first of all, you want to make sure that your LinkedIn profile is complete. So LinkedIn has many different sections. Yes. Make sure you've completed all of those sections. And then make sure that those sections are optimized. And, and, and you can look this up, you know, how do you optimize LinkedIn profile with the right keywords for the different sections? Right. So that's step number one is making sure you have a complete and optimized profile. Step number two is then you want to identify your target audience. Mm -hmm. And you want to start building your network. And you want to start building authentic and meaningful relationships with people in your target audience. Step number three is you want to start then engaging with your target audience. So it's not just about <clears throat> reaching out to them and sending a connection request. It's about really now uh, getting to know them, for them getting to know you, for taking mm -hmm. an interest in them, in their journey, in their role, in their work, yes. and, and really engaging with them, engaging with their content, engaging with you know things that they're sharing. Um, so mm -hmm. there's so many different ways in which you can engage and add value to them. Yes. Um, another way to really elevate your brand on LinkedIn is by joining groups 
mm-hmm. and associations that are specific to your industry and to your profession. Yeah. Okay. This also includes my attending events or so networking events, All as right. well as industry events, where you will get to mo- meet even more people that may not be very active or present on LinkedIn. Yeah. And then the fifth step is, you know, showcasing your credibility, showcasing your subject matter expertise by sharing content yes. on platforms like LinkedIn. So this is where you start engaging uh, with other people's content, but then also writing or sharing content of your own. So then people know that, you know, this is who you are and this is what you're able to offer to to a potential employer. So it's very important to uh, make sure that your brand is is not just visible, but it's also credible. Those are very great and in detailed uh, advices, Johan. I hope I hope the audience watching or listening will implement. I also tell my clients, you know, start small, right? Don't overwhelm yourself. Maybe five comments every day and five shares with your thoughts, and then maybe every Friday. Uh, 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 share a content or an article summary and then start small and then grow from there. Practice makes perfect, but you need to start from somewhere. And then having that clarity that we talked about earlier in the previous video, it's important who you are and uh, what you want people to remember you. Absolutely. And I, I agree so much with this. You know, a lot of people, they have very ambitious plans mm-hmm. where they want to start off by posting, you know, mm-hmm. five times, seven times a week. They want to post multiple times a day. Yeah. But what happens is you quickly start burning out. Yes. Um, or you're posting for the sake of posting and, and you're not able to generate an audience. You're not able to engage. So sometimes less is more. It's important to, first of all, know, um, you know, the intent and the purpose purpose behind yeah. uh, you know sharing content behind posting content and you want to be also very mindful of what you post how you post it mm-hmm. when you post the length of your post you know there, there's so many different things and best practices mm-hmm. in terms of making sure that your content gets the traction and gets the visibility to the right people yeah those are great tips oh, thank you very much again for the audience watching or listening if you have any more tips in terms of personal branding, please leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with you.